I was talking to a friend the other day about living in New Zealand and he said, oh yeah, I know New Zealand. That's an island off Australia, isn't it? And I was thinking, is he serious? So I went and did some research on the internet and it seems that lots of people have very weird misconceptions about the country of New Zealand. Real tall, um, very slender people. Oh, beautiful. And, but they were actually going past and they were going to the casino to play the slot machines. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. They were going to battle. No, they weren't. In this week's episode, we're going to share with you seven common, really weird misconceptions about New Zealand so you get a better idea of what the country is really like. It's a drama coming to you from Taranaki, New Zealand. Hello. <laughs> Daddy, I love you. My mother thanks you. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Welcome to the It's a Drama podcast. I'm Liz. And I'm Brian. And today we bring you this episode on location in Tadanaki. We are in the most beautiful domain that we found. We went for a drive last week and we came upon this place. It's called Tadata Domain. So the whole area, I think, is th this is yeah. Tadata Road, isn't it? Yes, it is. There's like a welcome to, uh, well, how, how would you pronounce it? Tarata. Tarata, 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 yeah. We Tarata. hope we're pronouncing it yeah. right, Taratians. We hope yes. we've got it right for you and we've done it justice. But isn't it just divine? Hey, and we saw this bench and the river and we were like, oh, let's just do a podcast. Yeah. Let's just go on location and do a podcast yeah, from so there. So hopefully you can hear the river in the background. There's a few little rapids down here. It's, it's gorgeous, uh, it's, it's isn't it? Lovely. There's yeah. little sheep around. They've just had lambs. They had lambs a couple of weeks ago. And there's a hut where people obviously, this was obviously a big playing field or just yeah, like where the like community a, would come. It's like a changing room to come yeah. toilet thing, isn't it? Yeah. It yeah. just feels like you're in the middle of nowhere, but literally it's about 20 minutes from Inglewood, which is about 15 minutes outside New Plymouth in Tadanaki. Yeah. We're so. in the Wop Wops, as they call we it. Ah, we're doing it right. right. The Wop Wops, you we're can see them all in the background. Yeah, in yeah. the Wop Wops. Yeah. yeah, look at us. Anyway, what we thought we'd talk to you about today, how have you been? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, we are Liz and Brian, husband and wife. Oh, we moved to New Zealand in 2009 from the UK yes. and we talk all about living in New Zealand, moving to New Zealand, just life in New Zealand and just general stuff, travel, life, you know, just sit here and just chat with you. Yeah. And it's spring in New Zealand. It is, yeah, absolutely beautiful. So what we wanted to talk to you about today, this is how this happened. The other day I was, I was on the phone to someone having a conversation and they'd never been to New Zealand and they didn't know anything about New Zealand. And she asked me a couple of questions and I, at first, when she said it, I was like, are you, is this a joke? Like, are you, yeah. are you for real? And that's no disrespect because 12 years ago, whenever we moved to New Zealand, before we moved to New Zealand, hands up, I didn't know anything about the we country. Had to, we had to buy books. And yeah. that's where you could really, I mean, the internet was there back then, but it, it, it was like you, we bought like a travel book and then um you know the kiwi culture book yeah, and all those sort yeah. of things like you know but um so i don't want to be like oh yeah. why don't you even know that about new zealand because like i say you w why would you know that about new zealand unless yeah. you were particularly educated and well informed yeah. like us most most people don't even know where new zealand is no so what we thought would be a fun thing to do today right down at tadata domain with you we thought let's go through seven misconceptions that people have about new zealand that just aren't true are yeah. they Brian no not even no. remotely true no but you can see why they would think that's what I'm saying reasons. I don't yeah. want to be like all you know oh why do you think that you idiot yeah. because you don't even know that no. but no this isn't about that this isn't about shaming of people it's just about we just want to try and educate you basically and just say New Zealand isn't actually part of Australia anyway yes. so number one sorry darling that's sorry right. just scratched you so number one misconception about New Zealand is that New Zealand is part of Australia. I know, because th that's the thing, isn't it? You think it's this the South Pacific, and there's only like Tasmania, Aus you know, and the mainland of uh, Australia, and you, and people think that Tasmania is New Zealand, really. Yeah. What you do you go, mean? Well, because like they, they what, think the country it's, Tasmania. Yeah, even though like Tasmania is part of Australia. Yeah. It's like, see, I'm confusing you now, aren't I? I'm not. I hope that didn't come out on camera. This. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, Tasmania the country. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> you heard it first. Move on, on, it's a drama. Move on. You know, you know. <laughs> this is about New Zealand. <laughs> Should we start again, Liz? No. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. I don't want to be like, because I didn't know my facts until I moved here. Yeah. So, yeah, so this lady said to me, she said, so New Zealand it is, it is part of Australia, right? And I was like, 
And do you know what? It was so embarrassing. And I've, I've said this before. You know, when Americans talk, they say it with such authority. Americans out there listening, your accent makes you sound like you know everything. <laughs> you know, like the British, though, Bri? They yeah. sort of go, oh, um, like I, you know, well, like me it, and you. Yeah, as in, yes. But the way she said it, she said, so New Zealand is part of Australia, right? And that's how she said it to me. And I thought, oh, is it? It's the other way around. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to remember, you know, that I am actually 52 and quite, you know, know what I'm talking about because yeah. I've lived in New Zealand for 14 years. But yeah, that's what she thought. It's, and a, that's it's what... like, like you say, said with authority. And it's I like, know. you know, back me up on this. I it's know. Like, what? Yeah. 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 And you know that? Well, I won't go into that. We'll talk about that on a different podcast. But it's true, isn't it? When someone says something with such authority, you, you, it makes you question it, you know. Yeah, like if yeah. I said to you I, I now, I need to look up that up on the internet. Yeah. just like you need to. Yeah. If I said to you yeah. now, Brian, it's the summer. It's the summer, yeah. right? Look at it, it's a summer's day. It's, yeah, you yeah. wouldn't. You'd sort of. You'd. Ha you'd think twice, wouldn't you? Yeah, you know. You so, yeah. anyway, that's what. That's what apparently people think that New Zealand is part of Australia. Um, and so we did some facts. We did some looking up, didn't we, Brian? Yes. And we came, there's lots of things out there that say, you know, like how you can compare how far away New Zealand is to Australia. But here's one we want to use. And this was actually a comment on YouTube. And I'm sorry, because the person who commented didn't have a proper name, you know, when they comment on YouTube and it's yeah, like... Yeah, 3216. Yeah, so I can't even say thank you, but I can. Yeah. But, you know, we don't know your name. But you said, when you compare how far New Zealand is from Australia... It's the same as Ireland yes. is to Iceland. Yes. Is that right? Yeah, that's so for Europeans out there, it's like you've got Ireland. Oh. Obviously, it's an island off, off the coast yeah. of the, uh, the UK. Um, and the distance, because everyone goes, oh, well, how far is Australia from New Zealand? And that's Iceland is further from than, Ireland yeah, than what? Iceland. Sorry, I, uh, Australia is is further away than what Iceland is to Ireland. Yeah. There we you go. sure there, Brian? what it is to sure? New Zealand. Do you oh, have that right? Have, have we got the facts there? Because it's quite, conf <laughs> yeah. we're confusing ourselves yeah. here. It's not hard to confuse us. No, but that's yeah. true. So if you're thinking, oh, you know, it's, it's so close. Yeah. It's further away. Ireland to Iceland is further away. And who would have thought that? Because yeah. Iceland, to me, when I think of Iceland, I think it's in like the middle of the Iceland. Land, you it's know? in the middle it's of just, the Iceland yeah, but it's land. It's just floating yeah. in ice. It, yeah. miles well, it's and miles just and floating in the, the North Atlantic. Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? Yeah. But Australia yeah. is further away than that. Yeah, well, I remember the uh, the fishing wars back in the 1970s within the UK and Iceland. And it was like, they're almost like we're sort of put guns on the front of the, 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 the fishing icebergs. boats. On the fishing boats. Really? Ice, yeah, it was like really? quite bad, like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so no, we're not that close to Australia. I, I'm talking in distance, like relationship wise. See, that's another misconception as well. We should have said that. Yeah. They think that the New Zealanders and Auss Aussies like all hate each other, but they're very, they're like brother and sister, you know, they're like, yeah. like, they're uh, like brothers. Yeah, we've, we've talked about it a yeah. few times, you yeah. know, there's the sporting it's a stuff, going off it's, on. it's a bit of fun. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, realistically, when the shit hits the fan, every, everyone join, joins in together. So no, New Zealand and Australia are not joined. Right, number two. Yeah. I like this one, Bri. I, I reckon the reason she said this to me is because she's been watching our channel, right? Yeah. Number two, misconception about New Zealand. Yes. All New Zealanders... <laughs> all New Zealanders. All New Zealanders lead provincial lives... <laughs> right. <laughs> ...with no luxuries. With no luxuries. So, mm, so when we say provincial, we mean that we lives live in, in the, the middle, the middle of nowhere, sort of thing, yeah. or, or in the provinces, like farmery sort of thing, yes. you know, like yes. provincial, yeah. like you yeah. know, Don't just live making in big do. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm wondering if they think that because now, obviously, we're on YouTube and everyone knows about yeah. Liz and Brian. Well, look they at where we live. It. Well, that's what they, that's what I mean. They might think it's all like this, <laughs> you know. It is. This is the, just the whole of New Zealand. Yeah. There's no cities, no nothing. But Again, I can understand how you would think that. Yeah. You know, you would you you get an image of New Zealand in your mind that this, you know? Yeah. And everywhere is like this. And obviously you know that there's Auckland and Wellington and the cities and Christchurch and things like that, but Yeah, but, the, but the, I suppose it comes back to, you know, people have seen the Lord of the Rings. Mm. You know, and most of it was filmed down in the South Island for those big sort of mountain shots and everything like that. And, you know, it's like, how far can you pull back on a camera and still see no sign of people? Yeah. You know, yeah, no sign yeah. of man as such, you know? But I, I don't think it's so much that they think 
the countryside is provincial. I think that right. they think the people... Everybody lives like that. Yeah. Yes. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. we're all farmers. You've got a tractor sitting in the front in your driveway. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Have yeah. we got a tractor? No. We've got a little well, tractor. Well, we have. It's called, a, it's called a Skoda. No, we've got our... Qu- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skoda tractor. <laughs> <laughs> right, so and I'm going to come back to that because this keeps coming up, this backwardy sort of farmery, you know, like everyone's a little bit... Anyway, yeah. we'll come back to that because that does come up uh, in one of the other facts. Yeah. But number three, misconception about New Zealand is that it's always sunny. God, I can't see you because the sun's in my eyes, but oh, yeah, it's always sunny in New Zealand. No, no, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we do a video, we do it on a sunny day and there's, we do lots of videos. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to say. If you're looking at our channel and thinking it's always sunny, and lots of people have said that to us, you know, Bri. Yes. They're like, is it always sunny in New Plymouth? Because whenever we see your videos, it's really sunny. Yeah. But just to be clear, we, it is sunny a lot in New Plymouth. It is it, sunny. Do you know what? It? I think in 2022, it was classed through, I think it's NIWA, N-I-W-A. I think that's right. Um... And that's, it, it, they said that, I can, I can actually throw it up on the screen because loads of people say, oh no, Come our, on, our place is, it was the sunniest place in 2023. Right. Like yeah, many, exactly. many yeah. hours as well, like, yeah. you know, and, and they, they proved it that it was. And we've know? talked about this before where people in New Zealand, they've got this thing where they've got this like, uh, what's it called when you like defend something fiercely? And it's like, no, 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 our city's the one with the most sunshine. Nelson's the one with the most sunshine hours. Like, yeah. you know, Hawks Bay or whatever. Yeah. It's just like, it. no, Nelson is. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah so yeah. New Plymouth are, are, is up there for saying, no, no, we've got the sunniest. Yes. Last, but, last year anyway. You know. But in saying that, again, I can understand because when, when my sister moved to New Zealand, she moved to Gisborne 15 years ago. Yeah. And I knew nothing about New Zealand. And I remember thinking to myself, I bet it's just, I bet just everyone's just over, just in, on the beach all day, walking around, just wearing, you know, nothing, naked. Just wearing flip flops. <laughs> yeah, flip-flops you know, and, and jandals shorts. and just like everyone's, it's boiling hot, you yeah. know. And I remember thinking when we even talked about New Zealand, I thought, I said, oh no, I wouldn't be able to go to a country that is boiling hot all the time. So it has got that misconception that it's it's constantly Constantly hot. sunny. As you can see, the sun has gone behind the cloud again. And do you know what I don't understand, Bri? What? With it being so close to Australia, like it's very close to Australia, we're, we're just an island off Australia, yes. remember? Yeah. But why is Australia boiling hot? Well, because when you think... And we the, don't get that massively good hot weather like they get. Because the south of Australia, mm. uh, I think it's Melbourne, is pretty in line with like New Plymouth and Auckland, mm. sort of as you come across, like, you know? Um, so everything really is north of that. So the further north you go, because you're in the southern hemisphere, it gets hotter. Yeah. So you get up to the likes of Darwin and stuff, and it's it's. I don't understand. So why are we not like. hot? Well, because the further you go to the equator, it gets hotter. Oh. Right. And the land mass as well mm. makes it extremely hot in the See, summer. See, that's the other thing, isn't it? When people say, and again, <laughs> misconception, but I hand up. But when people say, when you look on a map, mm. you'd see Australia, and it looks really close to New Zealand, doesn't yes. it? It yes. looks like literally really close. Yeah. So everyone knows Australia is surfing and sunny and just boiling hot, and everyone lives outdoors and barbecues. And so you tend to think New Zealand is the same. You do, yes, because you know people say, "Oh, it's a similar accent," and yes, first off, oh, if right, you, don't get me started. No, on but that. if you if you listen to it, people that don't know a Kiwi accent mm. would actually think it's Australian. Mm. And so many people say, "Oh, whereabouts in Australia are you from?" This is when you're back in like the UK, and they go, "They almost look." Is that what they said to you, Barry? No. Whereabouts in Australia are you from? No, I'm talking about Kiwis, Liz. All oh, right. Yeah. Well, you are a Kiwi. Yeah. So, and you can see the disgust in their face. What? Well, because like. I'm from New Zealand. I'm not oh. from Australia. It's a bit like the Canadian oh, yeah. Amer- American thing, isn't it? You know? Sorry, Americans, if we've ever yeah. said, oh, whereabouts in Canada? No, it's the other way around. Yeah. Americans don't mind being classed as Canadians, well, but Canadian, yeah. well, no, they don't because the well, Canadians, Brian, they've yeah. got a lovely accent, you know. Yeah, and, and they've got a better sense of humour sometimes. Right. Well, I don't know if I, I get think that they far. have. They yes. understand the British sense of humour, maybe, because, there's, you know, that Commonwealth thing, like, you know. So do you reckon that's the same, like, New Zealanders to Australians or, like, Kiwi, uh, uh, like Americans to Canadians? Do you maybe think it it's could, the same Yeah, maybe it could be, because the Canadians get quite upset if you say, oh, where about, to, where about to the states are you from? They go from Canada. I know, it's embarrassing you know? when you yeah. do that, isn't it? Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. You get so embarrassed. But anyway, so what we were talking about, oh, yeah, the weather. And the other thing that they think as well is that... 
Um, the North Island is the hotter island. In fact, some people don't no, even know no, there's two islands. The other way around this. What? People, people think the South Island is the hotter island. Yes, that's yeah. right, yeah. It's confusing. Being, being born in the Northern Hemisphere, naturally, anything south of where you were born from yeah. was hotter. Yeah. You know? And so people go, oh, the two islands. Like, you know, and they go, yeah, the South Island. And you say, that's the coldest. And they go, well, how's that then? Yeah. And it is like, confusing, though, yeah, isn't cause it? Because it is, right? it's closer to Antarctica. You know? That's right. There, yeah, you there you go. So there you go for so that little bit of information. So now Liz can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know in England you'd always say, oh, I want a house with a north-facing view. Oh, it has to be, that room has to be north-facing because, sorry, the other way around, yeah. isn't it, yeah. Bryce? It's, it's so See, I'm a Kiwi now. Yeah. I'm a Kiwi, yeah. Bryce. Yeah. That's why I'm getting, yeah. it's, to me, north is, is, is yeah. warm. Yeah. Um, but in England, north is cold. So that's yes. what I'm saying. That's right. And is it the same in US? The north is the cold? Yeah, because they're northern hemisphere, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, of course, yes. yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, a north facing oh, won't get, a, a north today. facing house won't get any sun. No, that's yes. right. But Do you in, know what it is? Down here, it's the other way around. I'm not yes. thinking about this podcast. I'm looking at those little lambs over there because they're, they're literally, they're skipping behind their mum. And I'm, I'm looking and I'm, my mind is wandering. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, the thing is, uh, we are facing. Um, we're kind of facing northwest at the moment because it's around about three o'clock in the afternoon mm. and you know the sun sort of comes up over here and goes over that way and sets in the west where we'd be facing south in, in England. You know when you moved to New around. Zealand Bri, yes. were you disappointed that it wasn't warm all the time? Uh, I was kind of like confused because you know when I first came were here confused? yeah I was confused because just standing at the airport yeah, confused just, uh, like just the usual <laughs> little bag, yeah, little I'm bag. Confused. where am I going so north oh, that's the sun no, that's the south <laughs> no but go on carry on were you uh yes it's really disappointed but we turned up in the middle of winter and it was a, it was a day like this and we were up in Auckland and we went north from there and it was I was just thinking why this slap bang in the middle of winter because it was August the third or fourth yeah. when we arrived yeah and I was just thinking, this is brilliant. But then when we got to uh, Taranaki, uh, it, wasn't it, it right? we had a lovely summer and mm. then the winter hit and it was oh, just like, I was working outside weather. and it was raining yeah. and it was just like, oh, this is like, it, yeah. yeah. It was I, a lot colder than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Um, but it, it's not that cold in the grand scale of things. You yeah. know, it, it, it very rarely drops below freezing. We've had, this has been the coldest winter I've ever ever remember it's funny because now we're here you in know now, now we've been here a long thank you for the answer yeah, right thank you <laughs> now we've been here for a long time <laughs> <laughs> you know i tend to think that we were talking about this with the kids the other day we were saying the summers just are so much longer than they were ah, in the uk sure. yeah, yeah and the winters are so much shorter yeah. so maybe when you've been here for a while you appreciate it for what it is and you you realize that i mean this is like i say end of winter first you know beginning of spring yeah first week first week of spring and you've yeah. seen you know you've seen what the weather's been like throughout the winter if you've been watching our videos regularly it's been sunny and lovely and yeah. so maybe that's what i'm trying to say is although it isn't boiling hot like australia yeah but you, it's better because yeah. you get the seasons you still get the coldness and but you still get the sunny yeah, days because you know? it's it's 18 degrees centigrade where we are right now but in the sun it feels around about 25 mm. because the sun in new zealand is so intense because of the ozone and oh you we've know, talked about this loads though, we have we? but yeah. it's like you've, you've got to understand it understand you know it. it's just you have to come here and feel that intensity of the sun at three o'clock in the afternoon mm. in the in the wind in the spring so after yeah. you got over your confusion then you didn't feel yeah. bitterly disappointed that you weren't in australia swanning around with you on your, with, you know, with your bikini I, I, on i like i like the seasons list yeah you know and i find that people that in australia they're never really going to see snow and they're never really going to feel cold and that mm. frosty feeling in the morning know, and you know, know seeing frost on the grass and things like that Depends, obviously in places of new uh, australia you will you know but. we came out here we, well i told you how we discovered it we came out here about two weeks ago so it was just coming to the end of spring and the lambs had just been born and the magnolia trees had just come out and yeah. they were just smelling so divine just that beautiful full smell and there was little bits of frost in the in the valleys wasn't yes, there where was. the sun yes. hadn't been yeah yeah oh and it just looked it, it just looked gorgeous and our, our hand on heart we actually said oh it just reminds us of england it brought back those yeah. feelings of england didn't it well this you know, is like because it's like a park there's lots of deciduous trees you know lots of like you probably can't see it but the one to the side here you know they're, they're gorgeous trees aren't yeah. they? they've got the evergreens and the pungas in the background and stuff but you know, it's just, it's quite colonial the way it was set out uh, for the farms and things. You can see where people have planted rows of trees. It's, it's, 
Yeah. Come and see it. It's gorgeous. It is. You know? yeah. This is not a tourist destination where we are. See, we're telling you all about the little yeah. secret places now. Yeah. Um, right. Number four then. And I love this one. I really love this. Yes. A common misconception about New Zealand is that they all dwell in bungalows along the coast. There you go. I know. Mm. So Correct. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of true in a way, isn't it? No, it's not. Well, yeah, but that's what they say about New Zealand. It's I can't remember the actual... Um, it's like, is it something like 80 kilometres or 180 kilometres? You no, no further than that from the sea. Yeah, but they don't dwell in is. bungalows. No, they don't. But that's so that's the misconception, yeah, isn't it? Like, yeah. You know, because, you know, it's the two two kind of small islands in the grand scale of things. Do you want to put your sunglasses on? Are you squinting? No, Are you right. okay? I'm all right. It's, like, yeah. it's so bloody sunny. It's always sunny here. It's, it's just never stops. That though, sun, hot, sun, it? sun. Yeah, yeah it's I should hot. have worn black, maybe. Yeah. You know? Um, what was I just going to say then? So, yeah, so. I know where this has come from. It's come from the batch. So when you yes. see pe pictures online, if you Google New Zealand houses online or something like that, the batch, the classic Kiwi batch always comes up. How would you describe a Kiwi batch? A Kiwi batch is a very small place normally on the beach that would be a weekend house, that yeah. type of stuff. So, yeah. And it was it, it literally bare essentials at the time when it yeah. was just it built on a, on a budget and it was just a way, a small piece of land, but... Uh, normally a nice view or something some, like that. I've actually got some facts, actually. I've actually got some facts. So, batch is short for bachelor's quarters. Right, yeah. Because in the 1930s depression, yes. young men went away to, to the coast um, to work for government inf infrastructure, infrastructure and yes. forestry yes. projects. Yes, yeah. so not necessarily the coast, but yeah. But, yeah. The, but like the forestry would have been inland, so they would have a little batches there as well, oh, I suppose. right. So did they then move the batches to the coast when the people uh, well, bought them? Well, maybe they did, yeah. They could have done. Yeah. But the batches were just num small little, not far off a shed. But now, some it's like that typical thing. You know, it's... When you, uh, it's so funny, isn't it? Because can you imagine, well, going back, I'm sure many of our viewers will be able to remember this, but I bet back in the 1950s when those batches were, you know, there for you to just go on holiday with and all the Kiwi families just went on holiday yeah. and they were probably worth pennies. Yeah. And now if you were to buy a Kiwi batch on the coast, it would be millions. It's got to be up in the millions, it isn't it? Yeah, you know, unless it's been extended, knocked down, made bigger. But, you know, like a classic Kiwi batch, because we got said um we were offered to go to the coromandel yeah to stay in someone's batch yeah. and he said but just to be aware you know if we're all there there's seven beds and they're all in the same room mm. you and didn't want to like, did you Brian? you said no, to me there's no I just way thought, i'm doing that no, you know it's I like i'd have to get like, my yeah uh, I'm, I'm very adventurous but brian's like no i yeah. don't want to do that i'd have to I'll get my clean undies out for I'll that i'd be confused if i go there yeah yeah i'll have to iron my undies <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so no, people have got proper houses in New Zealand. They live in all different sorts of houses. Yes. The one thing I will say though, and I know this is different in Auckland and Wellington, but certainly around New Plymouth, what really shocked me when I came here from the UK is there was no like semi-detached houses, you know? They're well, all on their own, aren't they? There's, there's the odd one, isn't there? But no. the majority is what you're saying. All houses are, yeah. are, are, are detached. In the yes. UK... Yeah, there's terrace it, houses. I'll tell you what, and, to get a yeah. detached house in the UK, you've got to be minted. Yeah. You have, haven't you, Brian? You do, yeah. yeah. You know, or that's, link detached. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the big thing, though, that everyone works to towards in the UK. is like, I've got a detached house. Yeah, double funded. You know? Yeah. Detached house. If you're in a semi, you're doing all right. If yeah. you're in a terrace, you might as well be down the pits because yeah. you're poor. Aren't yeah. you, Brian? Yeah, unless you're living in London. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But no, just joking. But the, you come yeah, to but, New Zealand and everyone... Yeah. I was just so surprised that everyone's got their own yeah, well, house. Well, we, we're in Wellington uh, this week because our daughter, she was just finishing off her uh, season in Wicked, uh, yeah. in, in the show Wicked. Big shout out to yeah. this cast and crew of Wicked. Yeah, Brilliant. you did a great job. It's fantastic. Yeah. But the majority of houses, they're all... Detached, aren't they? Hickledy pickledy. But Wellington. they're all over the place and up on hills yeah. and everything. But I mean, there might be this much of a gap in between, but they're still detached. I know, but that's know? what I'm saying. You don't saying, see many. Brian. There are terraced houses and stuff, but not very many. Now, is that know? because people moved over when the, all the set, you know, when the pioneers came over, they were like, I'll can, tell you what, you can sod off if you think I'm having a detached Yeah, but that's, uh, that was the beauty. House. You had all this land well, that they, right, you know, yeah. in the cities and stuff to build, you know, they were like all classic. That space. Yeah, Imagine acre that. plots or quarter acre plots and things. They'd come over, wouldn't you, with your neighbours and it'd just be like, don't build anywhere near me just move yeah. i want yeah. at least i want at least a mile between us That's it, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so yeah that that was an interesting thing but yeah it is i no, I, I remember you know going up to auckland a couple of years ago and just being shocked at like seeing you know new estates and yeah. 
how close they were. I to know, and it, they were they were like townhouses, but they were in terrace rows. It was just like, but that's that's but just, that's just space. Well, yeah, and, what you can know, you do? Space you know? is getting uh, to be more and more expensive because yeah. what is it now? You were saying is it five point five million? Yeah, I read some of this five point five million living here. Wow, now. we should know yeah. that figure. Yeah, really. but it was four point five when we came. 14 yeah. years ago. So a million so. people have followed well, million people have followed the YouTube and just come on over here. That's it. By the way, before we jump in to number what, are we, what number are we on now? Uh, no, it's number three or four, is it? We're on number we are on number four. So before we jump into number five and tell you five, six and seven, if you are moving to New Zealand or you want to know anything about New Zealand, obviously we are the experts on this. Yes. We offer a free five-day video guide um, about life in New Zealand. It's absolutely free. You sign up and every day we send you a free video video about life in New Zealand and that is absolutely free when you get to day five it leads to our private membership group that we have for people who are serious about moving to New Zealand it's a wonderful wonderful support group it's like a family it's everything you could ever want if you're moving to New Zealand so if you would like to get more information on that you sign up for our free five-day video guide and then yeah. day five if you want to take it go ahead and take it and hopefully in the next few weeks we're gonna be doing some frequently asked questions from our community. Yes. So yes. that's, you know, and, you know, we have a channel like Kiwi Kindness and stuff like that. So we're going to do a couple of videos on that with these sort of questions and the answers that you get back yep. from the people in, in that, that community. And it's, it is a brilliant community. It's, it's, one, it's one of the best out there. It warms our heart that, that yeah. it's, it's, it is the best out there, I'm going to say, Brian. I'm going to yeah. step for, up and for say sure. it. Yeah. So you can get that by going to the link that Brian is going to put up yeah. here. And I'll Just, also put a link yeah. in the description. And don't forget, there are plenty of other videos to go and watch with people from that community. You'll yeah. just see them. They look like yeah, Zoom calls loads. and things like that. And you'll get to meet a bunch of people. And they're still in there, those people. Right, number five misconception about New Zealand is that New Zealanders, I don't like this one, New Zealanders eat the kiwi bird. There you go. And it tastes like chicken. Yep. Where did they get that Kentucky from? Kentucky Fried Kiwi Bird. Where would you think that you would eat the kiwi bird? Well, because it, cause it's a bird, isn't it, like, you know? Yeah. It, it's a flightless bird, um, you know, that's uh, native to New Zealand. It, it's, and there were no predators at one time in New Zealand. No. As in, you know, no stoats, no um, cats or uh, rats and things like that. They would eat eggs and things. So, you know, it, it hadn't had, it was, so it's, it's, it's a, what do they call it? Um, it's a flightless bird. A flightless bird. Yeah. yeah. Wingless, yeah. bro. Oh, no, well, not it's, wingless. It's got little it's got wings. wings. It's got little wings, but it just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's flightless. Yeah. It's got quite big feet and they're really strong, the and feet. they're big. You know? That's the other thing as well yeah, about a kiwi. They're big, aren't they? Well, you know, yeah. you see, yeah, I've picked one up before. And yeah. it's just, you know, what, a, what an honour to pick that up. I know. We, we picked it up from a reserve and brought it back to the Taranaki um, reserve, um, um, Regional Park and let it go up on the mountain. Yeah, you were it, involved in that, weren't it you? Was, yeah, it was just great to be part of. Like, yeah. You know? But no, the kiwi bird is not eaten by the New Zealanders. Certainly not. Um, I think they might. You might be getting a little bit confused with maybe the kiwi fruit. Yeah, because, or an ostrich. No, because it, it would be quite easy to get confused with that. Because weirdly, the kiwi bird, the kiwi people, and the kiwi fruit are all called kiwi. Yes. And that's very confusing. Yes. So maybe if they've heard, if you, maybe people have heard someone say. Oh, the the way we eat kiwi is we, you know, eat it with a spoon. I mean, maybe so they maybe, maybe, maybe the they were thinking that, is that right? Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, sitting the kiwi bird down and eating it, you know, with a spoon, yeah. knocking it, knocking its beak with the yeah. back of the thing <laughs> to get the yolk out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a super protected um, It is, protect, it is. But you, you know, you've got to be so, so careful. You, you can't take dogs in national parks uh, and things like that. Or, you know, if, if, if there is any sign of a kiwi around, you've got to be, the dogs have got to be on leashes yeah. and stuff like that. But Have you ever, oh yeah, you've seen that kiwi. I've never seen a kiwi. I've only seen a kiwi when we went to Rotorua that time. You know, when yeah, we, we went do, to the, yeah, the, 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 you know, the little yes. sanctuary thing yeah, yeah. that we went to, but that's the only time I've seen it. So no. Oh, and I've got a fact about the kiwi fruit as well. Hang on a minute. Kiwi I, fruit. Yeah, I had a good yep. fact about the kiwi fruit. So the kiwi fruit is from China. Originally, as everything is. Originated from China. Yeah, Brian. I know. Yeah. Mass production. The Chinese, what was it Chinese called? Chinese gooseberry. Wow. 
Yeah. yeah. A bit bigger than a gooseberry, though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but it does, because it's fairy as well, isn't it? Like, you know? And it grows better in New Zealand. So do you think they just sent it to the other? Oh, I can't be bothered with this. It's not yeah, growing It's not growing very well over here, you know. Just, just yeah. transport it over. Get it over there. Yeah. yeah. Do you think they just did that? Probably. Yeah. You know what? There's a brilliant video. I, I don't I don't know if I, I won't be able to link to it because I don't I'm not techy enough to know how to find story things on Instagram. But there was this video of a baby eating a kiwi fruit for the first time. Remember, I showed yes. it to you. Yeah, yeah. And the mum holds the kiwi fruit out to the baby. And the baby's only about, I don't know, nine months old. Yeah. He bites into the kiwi fruit and he goes like this. And he does it again. And and it, yeah, it's almost like he tries it again and he does exactly the same reaction. And I just thought, yeah. you know, you can just so relate because kiwi fruit, they can be like really sour, really tarty. can't they? Yeah, it's just do like, you like yeah. I do actually. Yeah, oh, I, I do. Don't, I'm like that. Yeah. I don't, I can't decide. A lot of, lot of vitamin C in them. So, know. you know, and there's, there's fiber and everything with all the uh, seeds and everything. So it's good. They are good for you, I would imagine. I know, you know I know, but they're not, moderation. they're not my favorite thing. It's not something that I would think, no. oh, I've got to have a kiwi fruit today. And you wouldn't have to have one every day. Do you no. peel your kiwi fruit when you, I used to uh, eat the skin. No, I never, see, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you just, yeah. No, I, I've been on building sites. I used, used to watch guys and the, They'd eat it like a boiled egg. They just have yeah. a spoon and they just, you know, eat yeah. it out. Some would just eat the whole thing. Yeah. Right, okay, so number six, we're nearly there. We've got two more to go. So number six is that all New Zealanders, the common misconception about New Zealand is all New Zealanders are sports mad. Yes. Moving on, yeah. number seven. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do they play sport here? <sighs> New Zealanders are, are they sports mad? Um... I'm going to say, I'm going to stick my neck out here because I must admit, I was frightened about this when we were first moving over. Because anyone who's watched this channel will know that my knowledge of sport is zilch. Yeah. You're a big footy fan, but yes. you don't watch rugby. So no. it was like, I was thinking, I was more, I was worried about the kids, you know, because they were all into drama and music and they weren't sports kids. They're, my kids never played sports they did karate no. and they did the odd game of football but and i was thinking oh no are we just going to move over there and it's just going to be they're going to be like you know outed because they don't like sport and am i going to have no friends because i don't know what rugby match is on this afternoon yeah. and you, Do you know, know we 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 went we were down we always talk about going down the cafe we went down the cafe the other day tea, please, Brian. and it's a little bit of earl gray today by yeah, the way yeah we've got earl gray yeah. today brought it with yeah, us in the, the flask teapot, look. Yeah, it's come for a trip out to the Wop Wops. We're not provincial or anything yeah. else. And uh, <laughs> the, I, I was just start, talking to a guy called Mark down there, and he just said, oh, National Day of Morning. And I went, there's a Sunday morning. Yeah. And I was like, well, why? What's up? What happened? And he went, don't you know? And I'm like, yeah, but you oh. were being wicked, Brian. I you knew what on, had happened. No, I did on a hand on heartless. I did not know what had happened. Yeah, but you but were. I just said to him straight off the bat, I said, did the All Blacks lose? And it's like they didn't just lose; they got annihilated by South Africa, yeah. the Springboks, like yeah. you know. And not only that, in the home of uh, rugby in, Tw in Twickenham as well, it just doesn't get much worse, really. Oh. It's like hit Who's after home hit of after Twickenham? hit. England. Why? I thought you said they oh, played in the South home, Africa. That's it's that's the home of English. Uh, you rugby. just said they lost to the Springboks. Yeah, but it was a it was a friendly pre warm up for the oh, World okay, Cup. Right, that's yeah. just about to happen, yeah. like you know. So you know that's. That's, I got a lot of thought now because you're just you're so... you confused. Yeah, but you're just like, you know... Sorry, go on, didn't go on. actually back me up on, on my story. No, but. go on. No, no, no. Sorry, yeah, I was just confused. That, yes. Well, it's, yeah, it doesn't take much. Anyway. What? <laughs> so that was that anyway. So there you go. That's, you didn't finish your story. But I did. I said it's National Day of Morning and it's just yeah. like, you know, and that's when I picked up on it. Like, you know, right. that, and then he, he, you realise that the All Blacks had lost. But you didn't continue with your story, though, no, did you, Brian? I didn't need to. I was well, just do you want me to then? Well, you can then, yes. Because he said, "Yeah, the All Blacks have lost," and you went, "Huh?" <laughs> Something like, "Get used to it, mate." Yeah, now, now you know now, how yeah, I feel. It. Now you know yeah. how I feel, yeah. and he wasn't impressed by that comment, Brian. Yeah, but it's not a big deal if you lose. But it is if they if they I lose, know, you know, because they expect to win. And you should have just, just like, said, oh, "I'm really sorry yeah. to hear about that, mate." Maybe they'll pick yeah. up and maybe yeah. they'll pick up their game next time. Yeah, it was a bit like the English women losing the World Cup. Yeah, you know? I know, like, but oh. it, so anyway, going back to the sport another fifty-seven thing. years to wait. <laughs> um, yes, they they there are lots and lots of sports people in New Zealand. They do like to talk about sport, but I want to reassure you: if you're like me and you're watching this video, you're just about think or you're thinking of moving to New Zealand and you've got kids and you're thinking they don't like sport. 
don't worry about it because no. there are lots of other things that people do in New Zealand other yeah. than sports. No, it's true. And I think it's a bigger deal for guys, I reckon. Do you know what? I think what you've got to say about sports mad, it, uh, it's not so much sports mad. I just think that New Zealanders, and this is true, they punch well above their weight for the size of the country. You know, for the pool of people of 5 million people, whatever it is. Yeah. You know, they do brilliant in the Olympics. They win gold medals. You know, mm -hmm. for a small country, they do absolutely amazing. You know, rowing and rugby and all, all these things, you know, um, shot put, just uh, amazing to watch. And yeah. What, and you yeah. feel really... Even being English, you feel very patriotic when you see them win those gold medals because yeah. you know how hard it is for them to, to be so good at what they do. Yeah. So that's the thing with New Zealand, I think, more than anything. Not so much sports mad, but they're very good at what they do. Oh, right, okay, yeah. When it comes to sports. Do you know why I reckon that is, though, Brian? I reckon because it is such a small country, you know, like with not many people, and I yeah. think they've almost got... you. Is it like that thing, isn't it? Like when you've got to prove something, like when you've got like really rubbish kit at school, like sports kit, yeah. and you're like, I'm not going to lose just because I've got rubbish yeah. trainers. I'm going to beat you, you know, and you you beat the person with like really yeah. nice yeah. Adidas trainers or whatever, yeah. and you just, you know. No, that's it. Because, uh, you know, it's like I used to, we used to have fun races with when we were, um, you know, young and, and stupid and stuff and everything, you know, and I had probably the crappiest car of them all, but I would try and take on the big, bigger yeah. boy cars, like, you know, and just yeah. the fact that, I'll drive better. I'll drive. I'll I'll cut that corner yeah. there, and I'll do this, and I'll get the most out of my engine as I can. Like you know, yeah. it's that type of feel, isn't it's it? Funny, what you're talking isn't it? about. Yeah. It's it's really yeah. it's a funny thing that, but yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And yeah. it comes the same with theatre as well. Just talking to you about you know my kids are into theatre. Tess is down living in Wellington down now at the moment. Like Bryce said, she's just been in Wicked. Sunny is in the local show in New Plymouth, and um, also so yeah, the same thing with theatre. I've we've done a video on this called the cringe culture. Yeah. It's almost as if they have to step up because people are expecting them to not be good. Yes. You know? Yeah, so it's, it's this like, is going to be rubbish yeah. type thing, you know? So yeah. and, and then it ends up being better than anything you've ever seen. I was yeah. talking to someone the other day. We went down to see um, we went down to see my daughter in Wicked and I could hear someone coming out and I wasn't talking, I was just eavesdropping. Um, and she was saying, I've just come back from Broadway and I've seen Wicked. Shouldn't that leaves it standing? Yes. And, and yes, know? yeah. Almost fell asleep in the, on the Broadway yeah. show. And she just because, said, yeah. Because yeah. if you're on Broadway, you don't have to, what, what, that's it. You're there. You've got nothing to prove. No, there's no, but you can't go any higher, no, apparently. No, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. it, isn't it? So yeah. now, yeah, I know what you're saying. That's yeah. a really good point. And, you know, you've only got to look at the America's Cup. You know, that is like the billionaire's cup, you know, of you know uh sailing racing sailing and stuff like that mm. and really you know we shouldn't have that sort of money here or that design or that technology to be take on the americans or take on the british or take mm. on these other countries who you know got way much more money than us but we go and what their ass is like you know in new zealand i think it's outstanding can i ask you, know? you a question Brian? what if you if someone said to you like what in the whole world yes who is the best sports people in the whole world what would you say like, if you had to say that country, like, you know, like you say, oh, French for food, Italians yeah. for lovers. Like, what is the sports, you know, what, what, in what country would you say is the best sports? Well, you, you, there's, without doubt, you know, over, over the last sort of 50 years, it's been America. America. Yes. But, I mean, China is catching up pretty quickly. Russia, yeah. Russia and America were always the big gold medal winners in, right. in, in all, I'm talking about Olympics and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, just as a whole, like As a whole, sports. yes, as, as the main sports, you know, yes, you've got to say America has got the, probably the best, best athletes out right, there, you yeah. know, because of the facilities and this, that and the and other. And that makes but sense. To, sorry, go on. It, it's not, yeah, but you would, it, it's, it's changing. It's changing. Is it? Well, it is, yeah. Why? Uh, because things are becoming more and more they available. They knocked off their perch? No, because science has moved on with, you know, how to, you know, you look at the All Blacks and how fit they are. Mm. You know, at one time they probably weren't as fit as another team, but then it's like well, they worked on it, worked on it. And, yeah. you know, you watch the All Blacks, the last 10 minutes, they are stronger than the other team, more than, you know, yeah. apart from South Africa. Do you know what the thing with the American, that makes sense now, now you've told me that, because yeah. I always wondered why when people talk about their kids at school, they always talk about getting a scholarship with, with a football thing, don't they? Yes. You know? Yeah. Yeah, in America. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, uh, yeah American football. Yeah. Yes. And it's yes. all like, you know, yeah. oh, running the running backs and quarterbacks and yeah, all that sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I always yeah, wondered yeah, yeah. why did they constantly talk about that? What is that? So is that why because it's they're big, really good at sport? But that's because it's big money. You know, oh, right. it's like baseball and all those things. I mean, it's yeah, America I would say all round. You know, you got individual teams, you know, you can have Brazil 
probably the most the best football team ever mm. in the world at one time, like you know. And Good at loads of things, Americans, aren't they? Brian? Yes, yeah, mm. yeah. But they are clever clogs. Yeah, money. <laughs> yeah. Love you, Americans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, our last one, and I think this has got to be my favourite. Whereabouts is it? It's that much of my favourite. I can't find it. Right, we've got to tell you the story first of all because. And then it will, you know what I'm going to say, don't I you? I can see it now, yeah, yes. You can see yeah, it. This is a bit, a bit weird. I know. Well, yeah, weird, but people, so we had guests coming to stay with us a few years back now. Yes. And they'd arrived, got to the airport, we picked them up from Auckland, drove them down from America, um, drove them down to the house, we gave them a tour of the house, like, you know, oh, this is the kitchen, this is the bedroom, this is where you're going to be staying. And you've seen our house. You've I mean, seen the, the very deck we do lots of films for yeah, is where it happens. Yeah, you've seen our house. Yeah. So we are under Mount Tadanaki. At the, in the back of our garden, you can see Tadanaki and all the ranges. And we're quite provincial and, and rural, aren't we, Brian? <laughs> we we're, we're a couple yeah. of farmers. And so there's, there's lots of green around and bush and hills. So he opens the curtain and he goes, where are the natives? <laughs> are the natives in the hills? Are they in the hills? Yeah. Like... And we went first we were like... I thought Again, he was joking. Is he joking? I honestly thought he was joking, yeah. yeah. So we got talking to him and he said, I was under the impression that New Zealand had native People in people, grass skirts and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you know? going, and not only that, he said, do they still eat people? Do they, are they still yes. cannibals? Are they cannibals as well? And yeah. so I think he honestly thought that we we're going to open the back door, kick him out and go, go on, get up there. <laughs> get up there and prove you're worth Americans. See what a quarterback yeah. you are now. Yeah, let's see if you can get run. Get with the real people. Run forest. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, an interesting one, that. And yeah. again, I was just talking to someone not so long ago. Um, and she said the same thing. She said, you know, so what the, What are the natives? Like, you know, and I, again, I didn't, yeah, but Brian, you're going like that, but. I know, but that's what people, that's their perception yeah. of what New Zealand is. It's yeah. not like, you know, have you been here? No, then you'd know, like, you know, but if you haven't, the perception, and that's what this misconception is all yeah. about. Is, yeah. You know, are there native, are there people, when they say natives, are there like people in, in mud huts and, you know, as Rest you would, skirts. breast skirts and with spears and, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, walking down <laughs> the street. Outside countdown. Yeah, that's it. Give me some food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just like, wow. I know. Yeah. But again, like I say, no judging because 14 years ago, I had similar, no, I didn't think the cannibals and everything were running around, but I did think that people would be wearing grass skirts. More of a Pacific Island yeah, feel. Yeah, I yes, thought it yeah. would be more like... More tropical and yeah, that, that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, I, I'm, hands up. I'm not going to be like, oh, how can you think that? Because that's what you would, you assume, like, you yes. know? Yes, well, you just... do. And, and I suppose if you, if you watch things like the opening ceremony of the Olympics and people are in traditional dress, then maybe yeah, you would that's think right. that's, that's, right. that's what it's like, yeah, like you know? That's right. um, and it's just traditional dress. It's have like, you, we, you know. I'm just trying to think, have we been to a country where we have? We went to um, Kenya. Do yes. you remember when all the... The Maasai warriors. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they would come and walk oh, down beautiful. the street in all their red robes with their spears, spears and stuff like makeup. that. Yeah, not far off. No, yeah. but like smeared, but, like, yes. you know, they had things on but their the, face. But the real tall, um, very slender people. Oh, beautiful. And, but they were actually going past and they were going to the casino to play the slot machines. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. They were going to battle. No, they weren't. They were going to the casino and playing on the Rubbish. slot machines. Honestly, Liz. It was Were they? A, yes, because that's what the guy was telling me oh, in the pub. Oh, don't shatter my illusion. Yeah, but. Why, why else would they be coming into town? Well, why were they walking down the street like this and everyone was like in awe and stood well, back from them and wouldn't go near them? But that's because they'd come in from the village yeah. and then they'd, they'd gone in. Where'd they done. get their money from to do the casinos? I don't. On the dole? Pro probably selling things that they were making, <laughs> like, you know, the benefits, the money. <laughs> <laughs> selling their makeup That's it. <laughs> on the side with yeah. cash in hand yeah. go down the casinos yeah. I've been try, try, following that antelope for three days now <laughs> yeah. oh yeah so going back to New Zealand no we don't have natives running around the hills with spears yeah. in grass skirts and um, yeah yeah no so H hunting people no so that was it, Brian. That was that was the lot. That was our misconceptions. I know. Can you think yeah. of anything else? I can't think of any others. Oh, well, there's lots of other car. things. I was thinking about the batch that we were talking about. And what's another name for a batch in New Zealand? Do you want me to tell you what another name for a batch in New Zealand is, What Brian? is it, Liz? It's a crib, Brian. Yeah. And whereabouts is it called that from? South Island. And whereabouts in the South Island, eh, Liz? Don't know, Brian. Don't know. It's the Waitaki River. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Why so is it? South of Why is it called a crib? 
I don't know, just because it's more... Well, the Cornish um, crib was, uh, that was your, um, but a crib is like a, a, a baby's a bed. crib, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's, 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 so tell us, why is it called a crib? Yeah, because we know that from the Waitaki River, which comes out at uh, Omaru and, um, oh, not Dunedin, I can't remember the name of the other town. Mm. Anyway, it, yeah. it, it, the river is there from the south of that river. It's, it, it, they're called a crib. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's a Scottish thing. Yeah, maybe. It sounds yeah. like a Scottish type thing. Because Cornish, the Cornish crib was the smoko in the mornings at uh, 10 o'clock and you had crib. So we hope that has unearthed some of those misconceptions for you. And like I say, you know, it's, it's one of those things that unless you've been to New Zealand and you've done lots of research on it, um, which if you weren't going to move here, why would you? You know, no, it's not something say. like there's... What, what did I say to you the other day? I said, is, whereabouts is that country? I couldn't... You said, oh, you named a country. Oh, Tahiti. Could, no, no, it wasn't Tahiti. I know where Tahiti is. No, there was another country um, that I can't remember where it was. Oh. Um, anyway, but Puerto Brian, Rico? No, oh. no, you and Sonny were talking about it and Brian yeah. named a country and I was like, where's that? And Sonny looked at me and he's like, you don't even know where that is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And do you remember? I can't yes. remember the, what yeah, the country yeah. was. And yeah. again, if you're not, if you're not of, you know, if you, it doesn't come up in your life or yeah. you wouldn't look into it, would no. you? No, Another really interesting fact as well, before we go, where it said something about if New Zealand was a city... No, if no, Auckland. If Auckland was a city in the USA, in the USA, staying on the USA theme because we love you so much, and we do, we do. Um, it would be the sixth most populated city in the USA. Yes. Why are you smiling like that? Be because you wouldn't think that, would you? Oh, I thought you were trying to take the Mickey out of me. Oh no, no, I looked no, over no, and you were no, beaming. No, 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 because yeah, I was just <laughs> smiling at the Americans. <laughs> God bless America. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I think they've taken a bit of a bad no, ride. No, job, you've got a good sense of yeah. humour. Far better than Canadians, I tell you the, that. The Aussies normally get a, get, a, get, a, get a hit, or the English get said something about them, because yeah. uh, that's why we left. Yeah, but the sixth know, but most populated state by? It's most populated city. Most would populated be city. If Auckland was in the USA, with the amount of people that live in Auckland, it would be the most popular. And when I told Bri that, he went, no, 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 that's rubbish. And I said, no, Bri, it's a fact. I've, no, I've seen I, it on the I internet. I would imagine so. Because, you know, I was thinking, well, you know, New York is huge. And LA is huge. San Francisco is, is, is huge. You know, it's just like... Do you think it really is the sixth most... I don't, I don't know if I that's would, true. I, I would imagine, you know, but then you've got Chicago, which is big. And then you've Dallas. got yeah, Dallas. Well, but they might be quite small. Yeah. Because you know, they're like, they're, you know, they're sort of desert towns, aren't they? Like yeah. Dallas is in the middle of the... Te Texas desert like you know see isn't it funny now we're like, I'll, I'll just so you so it makes you feel better if you're watching this and you're thinking you know oh, oh well I thought that oh no now I feel a bit of an idiot and she's made me feel like that but just to make you feel better if someone said to me mm. okay Liz Dallas describe Dallas yeah I would just say like da, 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 <laughs> yeah. da, da, I would say it's got those you know those those wind Bobby, things. Bobby driving <laughs> along in his, his uh, red red Mercedes. <laughs> you know? JR I'm going thinking, to the oil barons ball. Yeah. If someone yeah. says to me, Dallas, I'm thinking lots of oil barons. Yeah. Lots of oil fields. Well, I right in the red bee. Yeah, but those nodding things, donkeys. Those things that, that go round in the wind, you know, like they're, they're oh, always the, in the horror you, films, the American the horror films. The wind pumps. Yeah. yeah, the one that spins and it, and it will bring the water up and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the, so, from the well. And I'm sure Dallas isn't like that, but that is my conception. <laughs> you know, that's yeah, how yeah, I perceive your, your Dallas to be. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. be perception of yeah, it. Yeah, but it's like Las Vegas, isn't it? You know, I mean, that's just a tourist town. There's nothing there other than casinos and stuff, and but it's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, but you know what? You Las know? Vegas was everything I thought it was going to be. Yes, it was. Las it was Vegas exactly like is it was. just exactly yeah. how yeah. you imagine it to be. I anyway, we're, get, we're, getting off, we're getting off topic now, but... Yeah. So we really, really hope that you enjoyed the common misconceptions about New Zealand. And um, next time you see us, we're going to be, we're not going to give it away, but we're going to be in a different part of the country, aren't we, Brian? Yes. We're, we're, we're gonna, going away on our holidays. We're going away on our holidays. Yeah. Yep. House sitting. House sitting so, for five weeks. Yeah. So we're wow. going to be bringing you a video from a different part of the country. Yeah. But you'll have to tune in to find out where that is. I'll give a little thing away. It is on the East Coast. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for giving us an excuse to get in the car and come down here to Tadata Domain and yeah. just sit in this beautiful sunshine and chat to you about New Zealand. Our favourite thing to do in the world is just talk your ear yeah, off, and basically. Let, let us know if you want us to do a few more ones on location. Yeah, you know, that's a good idea. Yeah, we were going to do, actually, I, I, did, I did originally have this one as if anyone can recognise this river and this place where we are, then let us oh, know. Oh, yeah, you know? And yeah. then it's just like, not that you're going to win anything because we obviously we have yeah, nothing to give you away. Yeah. Um, but um, we could get an It's a Drama t 
T-shirt made up or something like that. Mm. But really, who who would wear it? Well, we would, Brian. Don't be silly. All right. Of course we would. You in your confused state, just like, just have it's a drama. Uh, I'm confused. With, with, with a bag. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next week, I will speak to you soon. So kia kaha, stay strong, kia stay true, and that's true to yourself. And we'll see you from somewhere else next time. Yeah. Bye, lovely you know. people. Bye. Bye. When you think of New Zealand, you think of mountains and bungee jumping and adventure. Food isn't usually the word that comes to mind when you think of New Zealand. We leave that to countries such as Italy and France and anywhere in Europe, maybe India or Thailand, Japan. So what is New Zealand food like? And then take it back out, oh, fold it up and eat gross. it. That's gross. Yeah. That's gross. It's no different than jam at the end of the day, is it? But it's just a bit crunchy. But it's when you ask. In this week's show, we're going to dive in and cover 13 popular foods in New Zealand and find out if they're delicious or dull.